Hello everyone, and thank you for inviting me to speak to you today. To begin, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which you are all located this afternoon. I pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging, and to any other elders present here today. I also acknowledge Chris Varney, founder and chief enabling officer of the ICANN network, Patricia Winnie and her fellow directors, and all the students with autism, their parents and carers, and staff from participating schools joining online today. It is an absolute delight for me to say a few words to mark the opening of today's Autism 2020 Virtual Expo. This is ICANN's sixth expo, the sixth year of celebrating the achievements and abilities of students with autism while making new friends. This year, the expo, like many aspects of our lives, looks very different from last year's. The coronavirus pandemic has turned our lives upside down and demanded we do things differently. I congratulate you all for moving so seamlessly from an in-person expo to a virtual one. I understand around 700 participants are joining in today from across the state, including school staff, parents, young adults and allied health professionals. What a year 2020 has been. We've all been through so many challenges, experienced so much change. It's been a year like no other. I know that some of you would have enjoyed the change to remote and flexible learning, while others would have found it particularly challenging. I congratulate you all for persevering through these extraordinary times and doing your very best. I'd also like to acknowledge ICANN, school staff and the allied health professionals for their dedication and commitment to students, their families and teachers. Throughout, you have continued to provide vital care and support. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. You have a great day ahead of you. You'll be hearing from 50 students from Wodonga to Werribee who will present on their unique passions, theories and skills. You'll learn all about how to breed chickens, theories on Star Wars characters, deep dives into sports, statistics, movies, history and a whole lot more. Students will also learn about the exciting career paths that await them, while school staff will be able to attend an online professional development workshop. An online parent forum will also explain how parents and teachers can work together to achieve the best outcomes for their child and themselves over the remainder of the year. Here in Victoria, we are building the education state. The education state at its heart is about giving every child the best chance to succeed. The ICANN network through its school mentoring program and events like this expo is helping students with autism do just that. It's helping young autistic people to believe in themselves, to discover their passions, skills and talents, and to feel a real sense of belonging, connection and pride. According to ICANN's most recent progress report, more than 200 government school students are currently taking part in online mentoring and 46 government schools are engaged with the ICANN Schools Program. To bring this fantastic network to more Victorian kids, the department is supporting ICANN to provide social support and mentoring to even more students. And as part of the Disability Friendly Schools Initiative, the Andrews government delivered 1.7 million over four years to continue and expand the ICANN Schools Program. We're working with ICANN to reach 100 government schools and 500 online participants across Victoria by 2023. You've all worked so hard this year. Today is for celebrating your unique talents and skills with friends, family and teachers. Enjoy and thank you.